Hey guys, it's your boy Lazy Lois back with another video. Today I'm doing a plus 11 Halls of Infusion. It's my own key and I got some pretty geared folks here to help me. So we'll see how it goes. You gotta watch for the defenders, they have a frontal, so don't stand with the tank here. And kill the containment beams first. That pack has a defender, so watch out for his uh, frontal. Big physical damage. Also, watch out for that big swirly thing, the Geomancer's uh, do a leap slam kind of attack. One shot most people. Watch out for the leaf slam and the frontal. You should be good. Where's the tank? All right, I got breath here. On this guy, he also has a titanic cleave, which is a frontal. You gotta watch out for that and stay out of the puddles. Try to use a defensive if you're in the middle of a puddle or a health stone. And also, uh, kill the orb things so they can take off his bubble when they're in that phase. The rate damage is kind of small, not not nothing to worry about. So there's a pool he has to move out and drop it in a convenient location. Don't get hit by those. There's the frontal. Death grip these things if you're a death knight. So if you've noticed I've saved anti-magic shell for the pool phase. Also run with the tank so you don't end up on the other side of the room. No, nope, frontal. Called Titanic Fist, not Titanic Leap. All 
All right, I have to drop a pull over here and go that way. I'm gonna Hellstone and anti magic shell there to not die. And that's it. An easy fight. Path of Frost, walk over the water. You gotta interrupt these shock troopers. These frogs have no aggro mechanics, so they'll just target anybody. And um, when their debuff hits 10 stacks, you automatically die. So if you're about 5 stacks, just kind of kite. These dragonflies have a frontal, I believe, but it can be interrupted. And normally tanks do this next pool. Um, a lot of mobs. So save your cooldown for this next pool. Alright, he did the pool, so I'm popping breath here. Interrupt the shock troopers. These two are mini bosses, so they do get fortified if it's during that week. Right now it's tyrannical, so the bosses are tougher. You can't just jump over this fence. You don't have to go around. Um, it's useful to stack together on this boss. So he doesn't leap around. Because he leaps at a random um, friendly target. So it's kind of useful to all be together. He spawns froglings. You got to kill them. There's a leap. Most of us were together, so we already knew where he was going to leap. Am I anti magic shell that?
right, and that's an easy fight. Here, these guys have a big frontal. So you gotta kind of stand behind these dragons. Burst them down as well. Deep chills and AoE. I think you all can't really avoid that one. And I still got two health stones. So I'm going to anti-magic shell this next death chill. Just like that. Get out of the circle. And dodge the breath. And that's a wrap. And I got breath for that big pool coming up. Here, I'll use Breath, focus the dragon, and we should be good. Again, I'll anti-magic shell the death chill, deep chill, sorry. On this boss, you want to dodge everything, basically. Don't get hit. Um, stand behind the healthy ice cube when she does the big AoE. Tank should bring the boss near the good ice cube. If you stand behind a broken ice cube, it'll blow up and do almost as much damage as the actual AoE. She got a cyclone. All right, so you move to the ice boulder. Everybody stands behind it. You should be good. She does another attack where you want to move out and then move back in. All right, which ice cube are we going to next? That one. Okay, that ice cube was broken, so we got to stand behind this one. Now we should move the boss closer to over there. Okay, there's a healthy ice cube right next to us. So we're Gucci. I'll pop breath here. That's unfortunate. And she's down. Easy boss. Here in this hall, you don't want to get hit by those swirlies. They will knock you back, and they can knock you back into the water. And it'll reset you all the way to the beginning of the hallway. This is just another dragon. Nothing special. Anti-magic shell, the deep chill, and don't get hit by the breath.
He has a spell called Flash Flood that will knock everybody back. Again, it can knock you into the water. There it is. Just move away from it. And it's time for the last boss. This kind of just stay light, light on your toes. Don't get hit by any of these circles. Or the swirlies. Do as much damage as you can. And I died. I got hit by the frontal. You get knocked back, run down the hall. I really didn't even know he had that frontal. Alright, and I'll use breath here when the boss comes back up. And it should be a wrap. Don't get hit by the swirlies. And it's a wrap. GG, folks. Let's see what I got from the chest. Shoulders. Burst mastery. I need mine. All right, and that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Feel free to like and subscribe. Peace.